What does this blue color tell me about the hardness or edge holding ability of this axe? There's a general awareness that you heat steel up red hot and then quench it in either oil or water to harden it. But there seems to be a lot of confusion and general lack of awareness of the subsequent step of tempering. This crappy axe doesn't hold an edge, but any piece of shiny steel will show temper colors. So let's pretend we just fully hardened it by quenching, and we now need to soften it a little bit by tempering. Temper colors are just oxidation on the surface of the steel, and conveniently they correlate with specific temperatures and physical properties. Starting at 375, there's really no color showing up yet. At 400, it's a light yellow color, and this is the temperature I use for tempering knives. They hold a really good edge, but they're not still so hard that they might chip or break. As the temperature goes up, the color changes and the hardness or brittleness is reduced and the toughness is increased. And that brings us to axes where resilience is more important than ultimate edge retention. They're usually tempered purple to blue and bonus that makes axes soft enough to sharpen easily with a file. Blue is the final temper color, both because beyond blue, the steel just turns gray, but also because beyond blue, the steel is just too soft to be useful for tools. Scrapers, traditional saws, and springs would typically have a blue temper. So this blue color would tell me that most likely this axe was tempered a little too soft. It wasn't an accident that I went past the correct color of purple to maybe blue all the way up to the edge of gray. Again, this axe already had a poor temper. So I'm just using it as a visual aid here to show you that full range of temper colors. At some point in the future, I'll attempt to requench and temper it properly. Now I need to mention, I'm just talking in broad strokes about simple carbon steels here. There's always gonna be multiple factors at play in determining any specific heat treating protocol, like the amount of carbon and other alloying elements in the steel, its thickness, and the intended application of the tool. So I hope this gives you a little bit better understanding of the process of hardening and tempering tools.